In this video, I want to introduce to you the Keto Mojo website. This is what I use with my GKI index. What is GKI? I'm gonna go over that briefly on this page. Basically, it's a calculation of your glucose versus your ketones. And with that, they provide a scale, as you can see here. I've been living the keto lifestyle on and off for about three years, but in the last year and a half, really got it down for myself and understanding my body body, what it responds to, what it doesn't, and learned a tremendous amount about food products, food quality, chemicals, and all the various things that can come up to interfere with a well-functioning ketosis. One of the biggest things that I learned for myself, and this is, of course, not medical advice, but having between five to seven cups of raw organic vegetables every day, a big salad, getting in the habit of having that really made a big difference in terms of just overall. Because when I first tried keto, when I first started, I was probably like most people, just like, oh, I get to eat like, you know, meats and cheese and greasy fat pizza toppings all day. That may be well and true that you can get into ketosis that way for some people. However, I learned a lot from that, and especially in terms of energy levels, um, how much sleep I need at night, clarity of and precision and accuracy of detailed tasks that I'm doing during the day. Uh, not to mention, there are all types of additives and chemicals and things in a lot of fast food products like pizza. Even if you take the hamburger and eat it off of a McDonald's hamburger, there still can be things in that meat that are actually inhibiting or getting in the way of the natural process of ketosis. I'm going to emphasize this isn't medical advice. And I'm not here. I'm just sharing my experience from an entertainment standpoint in my own life. But what I really want to share with you today is a goal that I've been able to consistently achieve using Keto Mojo's tools and some other tools, but also really understanding and knowing my body and learning with the foods that I eat and what it responds to and how to get it into this maximum state, which is the highest therapeutic level of ketosis, which is a GKI below 1.0. I've consistently made it below, but in the last week, I actually hit 0 0.5, which is the lowest I've ever done. I didn't actually do this intentionally. I just noticed that test regularly and I went into this very low state, really do notice not needing as much sleep, sleeping better, not having inflammation, knee pains, all types of things. I don't think this is for everybody. I'm going to be really honest. I really don't think keto and the keto lifestyle is for everybody. First of all, it's extremely challenging and it really truly is a lifestyle change. You have to really completely change the way you look at food and how you plan for food and what you eat. Meal schedules, potential intermittent fasting, Another part of my successful plan is primarily five days a week, I'm on an 18 hour fast. It's intermittent fasting. I don't like doing the three day, two day, 48 hour. I just not something I'm into. I love eating and I normally eat around 2000 calories a day. There's so much interesting stuff about this that I just wanna share. So anyway, I wanted to show you what it looks like on the GKI meter when I hit GKI 0.5. And as you can see, my ketones were, this would be considered on the higher side, ketones at 7.2 and glucose at 71. Some, some people might freak them out. You know, you start getting into that seven, eight high range. Personally, I don't really like being there and it still makes me a little nervous because it's just so foreign to have the sensation of your body burning so much fat and just you can feel it burning. And uh, it's just a very unique sensation that I'm not that used to. And a lot of people I know that have gone through this have spoken about that sensation you get when the body's just burning and burning and burning, but you're not feeling tired, you're feeling clear and energetic, ready to just take action on things. It was this very interesting state, but I prefer to be in the three to five ketone range. Glucose, I'm okay in the 70, high 60s, low 80s. That's generally where I sit. Although Thanksgiving, I had some things I didn't even have pie or sugar or anything. I spiked up to like 110, which is really high for me. And I, I feel a little too, you know, I feel a little sluggish, a little tired. This is like my glucose spike, my blood sugar spiked up. So, but it was gone within 24 hours and um, it was like gravy and turkey. And I had a little bit of mashed potatoes. You know, I mixed in a few things. I just don't normally eat at all. Well worth it. Totally loved it. Anyway, that's all I wanted to share to you. If you're, if you're playing the keto lifestyle and you're into, into, you know, ketones and glucose and measuring that, the GKI, 
the Keto Mojo tools are the best. The uh, product, I'm going to show you the box. I don't have the scale in front of me. The box looks like this. I'm going to put a link below. You can actually order this directly. From, I recommend getting it from Amazon primarily because of their return policy. It's just really simple. I always order everything from Amazon, even though they sell it directly on their website. I'm going to put a link to that below, plus the accessories and things that I use. If you're in, if you're into trying it out or want to start to measure this more closely for yourself, but I highly recommend checking Keto Mojo website out. Their other information is just very enlightening. They obviously they're connected to some really brilliant doctors who have been doing research for over 30 years in this subject and helping children with different types of body conditions, people with cancer and all kinds of things, just helping them. Is there, is it cure and all? No, not cures, I'm not talking about cures. I'm talking about just assistance in helping people navigate body conditions. I love sharing this. I have my own personal experiences with it and I hope you find it useful. I'm also gonna provide a bunch of the links below of the products that I eat so that if you're trying this or trying to navigate things, you can at least try the, some of the things that work for me. Maybe they'll work for you. Um, I do find consistently that specific products work across the boards for most people just because they're low processed, they're organic, they don't have other stuff. They don't have added sugars. They're basically just straight up food for the body. Thanks for watching and hope this was helpful.